You've probably heard that about a third of fourth graders in the U.S. are not proficient in reading as measured by the National Assessment of Educational Progress. So this is an issue that this course is really designed to address. Um, our course is based on a practice guide on foundational skills to support reading for understanding in grades K-3. The practice guide was put out by the U.S. Department of Education's What Works Clearinghouse and was designed to review research and figure out what are the best um, research-based recommended practices for early reading. Um, this practice guide was compiled by a panel of experts in literacy research, and we'll hear from some of those experts later in the MOOC ed on our expert panel. And the, the recommendations made by that panel really focus on um, helping children build those foundational skills that will enable them to read words, link those words to their oral language skills, and also read with sufficient fluency so that they can really understand what they're reading. And um, it's important to know that because of the criteria for methodology that the panel used in putting together these um, recommended practices, we know that these practices have a solid base in research. They may not include all of the best practices for K-3 reading, but they are a really helpful place to get started in building your students' foundational reading skills. So we hope to together unpack those recommendations in the practice guide. Um, you'll be able to work with us and your colleagues to understand what, what practices are in the, those guides and, um, and how to put those into place in the classroom. To help us organize this course, we've developed a framework of the core of many of the core elements that are essential for foundational reading. So to get us started, we are going to talk you through the elements of this framework and how they relate to the four recommendations and four units that you will experience during this MOOC ed. The foundational reading skills are shown in this framework, which we will refer to throughout the MOOC ed. Reading is a really complex activity, and we certainly can't capture all the important core elements for reading success in this one course. This framework shows the interrelated nature of many of the important elements that should be fostered in K-3 classrooms. Notice that the readers are in the center, which shows that all of these important elements come together to help readers read for understanding. After this orientation unit, there are four units in this course. Each unit addresses one of the research-based recommendations from the practice guide. The first recommendation is to advance students' speaking and listening language skills, including vocabulary knowledge and the use of inferential and narrative academic language. This recommendation is covered in Unit 1 and targets these areas of our core elements framework. The second recommendation is to develop students' awareness of the segments of sounds in speech and how sound segments link to letters. This recommendation is covered in Unit 2 and highlights these areas of our core elements framework. Recommendation 3 is to teach students to decode words, analyze word parts, and write and recognize words. Here this recommendation is covered in Unit 3 and targets these areas of our core elements framework. And finally, in Unit 4, we'll talk about the last recommendation, which helps us think about how we can support students' development of reading accuracy, fluency, and comprehension through reading connected text. And this recommendation targets these areas of our core elements framework. So there are two important points to make about the scope of this MOOC ed. First, we have included background knowledge in our framework even though the recommendations here do not directly address how to help students construct new knowledge. We want to emphasize the importance of children's background knowledge and experiences, and the importance of helping students leverage the knowledge they bring from their families and communities in your instruction in the classroom. At its core, reading for understanding is a process of linking together the ideas presented in a text and the knowledge the reader already has about the world. Second, this course focuses more on phonological awareness, decoding, and fluency than on comprehension. But that doesn't mean that comprehension instruction is not important for K-3 students. In fact, comprehension is an important and essential core element of early elementary classrooms. There's an entire practice guide devoted to building comprehension in K-3 students, which we have included in your Digging Deeper resources in this course. 
we encourage you to consult this additional practice guide as you work through this MOOC ed and to think about ways that the instructional practices described here can be situated inside of instruction that also includes the recommendations made in the comprehension guide.